I hope that we've seen. Um, yeah, I hope that we've seen our topic for today in the chat. And we're going to be discussing about um, yeah, today. And we're going to talk about why um, you think it necessary or how you would define it, first of all, and um, why you think it's necessary and how you think one can start this journey or how you have all the steps that you personally made towards, you know, this uh, journey of self-discovery. Can feel free to share to, to start our discussion for today. Yeah, anyone can feel free to go ahead and share. Um, okay. So um for me, um, I would say uh I would say uh self-discovery is basically self-reflection and growth because uh mm -hmm. when most of the time we, we think that we understand ourselves, we understand uh, what we want to do and stuff. But I think self-discovery is not only uh, something that you can do once in a lifetime, it's something that is uh, continuous because yeah. I think as, as we go through life and have experiences and meet people, I think our 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 uh, desires and our wants change, our needs change. So discovering mm -hmm. oneself and reflect uh, self reflecting as well is very important in one's life because we change as time goes on, as 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 people change, we also change as we grow, we change as well. So I think uh, in how can one start a uh, this journey, I think first of all, we should uh, be self-aware. Uh, that is uh, to discover and identify our values. For instance, uh, we, are all, we all, I would say most of us have different values, like what we believe in, how we should act with people and what we should accept and what we tolerate uh, is all different. Our temperaments are all different. So understanding your values, like your background, where you come from and what is acceptable and not acceptable to you is very important in self-discovery. And secondly, I, I would also say um, um, to just understand uh, your, your wants, like what you want all the time, reflect on yourself. Because sometimes you, we would agree that you have chosen a certain path or a certain desire that I actually want to pursue this thing, but then maybe halfway through it, you're like, no, I don't think this is for me. I made the wrong decision. But we should also be open-minded to that, that sometimes our needs and our desires change, even though it's something that we wanted so bad at the beginning, it is it is, it is normal for it to change. So being aware of our uh, strengths and our weaknesses are also uh, very important and uncovering our passion. Uh, your passion can also change. I think it's all about changes, but identifying those changes and just being willing and open-minded to accept those changes is sort of self-discovery for me, yeah. Yeah, thank you so much for sharing, Jessica. It's very true that you know it's it's a as you mentioned it's a continual uh process you know because people keep changing with their experiences and yeah as you also mentioned self reflection is definitely you know taking time to be able to reflect and contemplate upon things is um yeah as you mentioned it's one way that somebody can you know start the journey to be able to take time and actually think about um. Yeah, I think about certain things. Yeah, so thank you so much for sharing. Yeah, someone else can just go ahead and share. Yeah, good morning, everyone. Hi, Noah. Hi, Noah. 
good morning everyone morning ma okay so, so can i go ahead is going to to share can i share oh ladies first you can carry on so <laughs> um i do agree with uh the things uh jessica mentioned about uh, it being continuous and people changing uh, uh, their passion their personality i agree with that and it's also uh, the this self discovery is important uh, because uh, you uh, have to know your weaknesses your fears what holds you back to uh, i don't know uh, reach your dreams and mm -hmm. uh, it's important to uh, people, I think it's important to people love themselves and uh, self-discovery uh, can uh, help them um, uh, love the, themselves and care for themselves and uh, I, I think it's very important and uh, you can uh, by self discovery you can uh, find uh, your uh, uh, way in the life but figure out what you want to do in your uh, with your life and uh, also when uh, you have you with a self discovery you can uh, learn from your past and uh, don't uh, do the same mistakes over and over again and uh, so it's uh, very necessary and important to uh, start the journey of self-discovery and uh, find your weaknesses, your strengths. Uh, and uh, you have to think deep about uh, the, the pa your passions and what you are go going to do with your life. And... Uh, that all happens when you have uh, when you discover yourself and you uh, thought about you yourself and your past your future yeah yeah thank you so much for sharing today yeah it can definitely help us you know with making decisions and just making sure we know we don't repeat the same mistakes as you've said yeah because you're able to learn from yeah, from past decisions. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yes, no, you can now go ahead and share. Okay, um, good morning, everyone. So for me, I do believe self-discovery is all about um our self-awareness. You know, learning more about yourself. What do you know about yourself? What do you understand about yourself? It's all about your personality. You know, these are all the things. Um, self discovery is talking about. So, I do believe there are several ways in which we can be able to do self discovery. First of all, um, one of the 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 the, the key way we can do self discovery of we in which we can find ourselves is about us trying to, you know, create the the awareness about about our, ourselves. You know, there are certain people, they are doing things, they are not even know, or they can't even, they, they don't even, they, they don't even understand what they are doing, but yet still, they are involving in it. So it's like, if you, if you take a look at it, like they, they can't be, they, they, they can't find yourself. And one of the things that this self-discovery thing is talking about is about self-awareness. If you don't aware about yourself, you can, you know, you can't move ahead. So you see, so first of all, I don't believe you can be, for you to do, I mean, you need to spend more time with yourself. You know, spending time with yourself. Like the last time, um, I was listening to Miles Monroe when he, when he, yeah, it's anybody that's listening to him for more than thirty days, okay, or thirty days or so, and then try to put these things that he or she has listened to practice. Trust me, you deliver yourself, and you will know you will find that kind of self discovery. You, these are all ways or techniques we can be able to de discover ourselves. You need to mm -hmm. isolate yourself. I do believe, yeah, spend more time. Isolation, in sense, you need to spend more time trying to discover yourself. So you need mm -hmm. to give yourself time. In a nutshell, give yourself time. Spend your yourself. Um, 
spend time with yourself. Another thing again also, you need to be reflecting on what are the things that you are doing as a as an individual. You know, if you just can't reflect to what you're doing, then it will be very hard for you to find yourself, to deliver, to discover yourself. So you need to mm. reflect. Reflection is key in whatever thing we are doing. If we try to reflect upon some of the things we are doing. And another thing again, just like how um like we mentioned the last time when we were discussing, um can we find passion in and let's find passion in what we are doing. Are you passionate about what you're doing? It's another key um key aspect again about this self-discovery. Because if you're doing things that you don't like, you know, trust me, you'll not be able to find yourself. Unless you do what you like, then you'll be able to know, oh, I'm good at, at this thing. So there comes the, the self-discovery. And again, it's like, um, you know, the, 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 the idea of you putting yourself number one, yeah, it's a key also. Because all of these things, if you spend time with yourself, Think about your passion. It's all about you putting yourself number one. Try to put yourself number one and do things that you're passionate about. So this is a key again. Try to put yourself number one. For me, this is my own um aspect about this topic. My own contribution towards this topic. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, Noah. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing. Yeah. Just Johan, you can go ahead and share. Okay. Um I agree with what everyone has said. In addition, self-discovery is to know about oneself, one's needs, our wants, um, what we can do personally as individuals. That is what self-discovery involves. Um, in order for us to, to know about ourselves to start the journey of self-discovery. I think mental health is one that should be that should that we should take into consideration because when our mental health is okay, when our mental health is good, we can know what we want, what we can be able to do. We can know um what what we are working towards we can be able to discover what are goals that we want to achieve because someone who has mental health issues cannot discover him or herself when our, our mental health is okay then we can be able to discover ourselves another thing is to is that we should learn to take risk in doing some things. Learn to take risk, learn to try new things, to learn new things. Even in our working environment, you might say, um, I'm not here to do this particular job. I'm not here to learn this particular thing. But you should always try, if not to know deep into what the work is actually about, but you should always mm -hmm. try your level best to, you know, know the basics of what that work entails because you can apply for a job in another um company or whatsoever. Then maybe what you actually applied for is not what you get. So if you have an idea, you try spreading your knowledge on different, different, you know, occupations and all, you can be able to discover yourself. After all, you say, at least I know that this is what I'm good at. I can do this, I can do that, I can do that. So even in our working environment, in our place, or in our personal lives, we should we should learn to take risk. We should learn mm -hmm. to, do, to do new things. And also, um, self-discovery we should learn to teach ourselves sometimes when you ask when you ask people when you ask other people about some certain things it helps you to discover oneself it helps you to learn what you want to do how you would like to do it 
what you want, what, you, what are your needs and all. So if, if someone should discover his, him or herself, he should be mentally stable. His health should be okay. And also he should mm -hmm. learn to take, to do new things, to, to learn new things, take risk about something, even though it might not work. But when you take the risk, you learn a lesson. You know that when I do this this way, it won't work. Well, let me try this the other way. So I mm -hmm. think that would be my own take on this topic today. Yeah, thank you so much, John, for sharing. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah. Uh, hello, James. Would you like to share something? Hello. Yeah, hello, everyone. Um, good morning. After some, some time. Morning. Yeah, I'll... Yeah, I think um, the main thing I just, much of the things have been said. However, the fundamental of discovering who you are lies in the the fact that you are going to find that you are actually um, different from what people thought that things we are, because we are a result of what people said. Could have been, have been our parents, could have been anybody. And uh, when the parents told us those things, we felt those that's what we were. We are. But actually, we are more than we are. And all the time, by knowing um, that I'm capable, uh, the, the, the real me is not what I am now, because there is so much potential about me. Um, and uh, the, the society, just has jacked us and we we tend to believe those lies. They are lies as well, because obviously uh if people said to you, uh oh, you can never uh, amount to anything. For example, such negative. Sometimes they, they happen. And then you look at someone where they say, you know, you can go for anything. Now those two individuals are going to be different as the years go by. One who says you can amount for nothing and they believed it, they will still not amount to anything. The one who said who, who was told actually everything, even if they 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 seem in other people's eyes as if they can't, they have that confidence. So self-discovery is have is finding the, the essence of your self-esteem, the essence of your confidence. Those two are actually key. I think that what I can say, um, and every time, because the first person who talks to you is you. And mm -hmm. if you talk to you in a way that you are not you, you will not be you. If you talk to you in a way that you are you, then it's you. Obviously, mm -hmm. I mean, we can't copy other people. You can say, I, I'm like now, I just told you, I, I, I admire this guy, so, um, Elon Musk, but, but actually coming home here, it is such a molai. Molai has got that there's so many attributes that one can admire. One of we admire, we admire him. I admire him. And uh, I, there are aspects that is uh, brush, brushed off him to us who are working with him. Now, and those aspects are good, but no, no, but still um we 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 have to keep doing that. And maybe uh if I could call it. Um, aligning, trying to discover who we are in a go, uh, growing our positivity about ourselves and knowing that this is not me, this is not enough. Uh, okay, what can I say? Yes, I'm enough now, but I'm, I, I, can, I, I can be better, I can do better, I can be better, I, I can, I'm on this discovering journey. And we uh, will be on our discovering journey as long as, uh, until, until we got until God calls us home. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for sharing, James. Yeah, self-confidence and self-esteem. Yeah, that's definitely important in this journey. Thank you so much for sharing. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll close our meeting here for today. Thank you so much, guys, for sharing. Uh,
yeah, I hope you all have a, a wonderful day.